Hey, you. Yeah, you. Here, use one of these. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Canadian Maker Project. My name is Ron. Don't forget also to subscribe to this channel. And if you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. But anyways, let's get on to the print that I just threw at you guys. Coasters. Why would you want to ruin your desk with rings of water? You know, the days of when we used to use, you know, these blanks. Remember these guys? Yeah, CD media. It's now, it's now, you know, 2010, 20, you know. Let's get on with, since we own 3D printers, we can make our own coasters. And you can use the infill design. This is called the infill coaster. So why don't we go look at it? And uh, we'll talk a little bit more. So here, I got this all loaded up right now. So we're just going to go to Kira. There she is. Okay, as you can see, this is a blank right now. And to make this coaster, you're going to have to tweak a few things in, in Kira. And don't worry if it goes red or orange or what color it is. I can't remember. Just trust me on this. So to make the coaster, you're going to want to set your parameters a little bit. Odd. So I'm going to go to this at three millimeters. Now, you notice it's gone red because I am going to change that top layer to zero. Now it's gone orange too, because when it sees that, it means there's no layer that's going to go on top. So it doesn't know it. So it's going to print this infill, infill pattern. And that's what we want. So let's go to zip. Let's go see here. We're going to put it at 20 crosses. There we go. Now you'll see that you don't see anything still. It just looks like a regular piece of plastic. Well, this is where it's going into your settings and going into layer view. We'll show you what type of pattern you end up with. So that's the pattern right there. That is your pattern. That's a cross pattern. Let's go with a different one. What do you say? Triangles? And if you don't like the pattern, you can always change it. Now, they do recommend to stay at 20, but I think you can get away with if you want to it. At 10% should be more than enough. Now, that looks pretty cool. Let's go with um, lines. Let's see what lines looks like. It's almost a grid pattern also. So you have many choices of what you want to use for your own pattern. So you guys can pick what you want and uh, how you want to do it. Honestly, I'd be interested to see some of your designs and uh, see what you guys come up with. Because let's face it, there's a lot of neat designs that you can come up with. So with that, I want to thank you for watching the Canadian Maker Project. Remember, these are the 50 prints of 2019 if you want if you want to look more on to say more of these prints i'm going to have links down below so i decided to print because i'm not going to print all 50 of them because a lot of them are kind of a little bit like ah, i never use it nope that's not useful but you guys can have a look and make your own decisions i like to see those prints so post them up on social media twitter facebook you can post them to our facebook channel so don't be afraid to, you know, print something and show it off. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you like what I'm doing, comment down below. I'd like to read your comments. Anyways, guys, all the best to you and happy printing.